And while staying at home, my photographer, Daily Oye International Photos, is around around campus, around Iwaya area, came to me to take photographs. And I said, when I saw that you are not going to church, I said, I do. I go to New Estate Baptist Church on Sundays only, and I, I come back home. He said, ah, you really like our church. Our pastor is dynamic, and blah, blah, blah. He was the one who spoke to me about Pastor Debo. You had never met him before. So on the first Sunday of March, 1984, he came to our house and we drove in our car, my wife and I, then my friends, she had come to join me. We went to uh, number one, a cemetery. Pastor Debo was the one who preached that day. He wore a gray suit with a white shirt and a, a bug on the tie. And he spoke. The title of the message was The Mercy of God. After I finished preaching that day, I loved the simplicity of the world. And I sat there. It was time for us to go after we have shared grace and fellowship. Then Pastor Deboy announced, all children of God wait behind. I carried my Bible to leave, and my wife said, where are you going? I said, look, when they say all children of God, they are talking about the members. <laughs> I'm going, I'm not a member of this church. And she said, are you not a child of God? So whatever happened to me in, in in uh, redeemed presence of God <laughs> is called by Mrs. B <laughs> and Daily Oye International Photo because I just wanted to test water to see uh, what this church, my photographer told me about, what are they about. So as we sat down, Pastor Deboye announced that day, March the 1st, 1984 that they were about to start work at the campsite. And they are looking for professionals to help them. Carpenters, electricians, builders, whatever, so that they can have workforce that will help them build. Okay, we are listening to the announcement. I was about to step out to go. And Pastor Deboy, where I was at, I knew, sir. My name is not you, sir. So is it, I'm talking about the brother wearing white, blue, white vest. That was the outfit I was wearing. And then I told him, I said, I lived, he said, yes, what's your profession? I said, I'm a legal practitioner. I practice law. He said, see me in my office. That was how I got arrested. The rest is history. Just as I spent five years at Deeper Life, I also spent five years at the Redeemed Christian Church of God from March the first night, my first Sunday of March, not March first, first Sunday of March 1984 till last Sunday of March 1989. Lessons of land. You can feel you can feel an encyclopedia with that. It was an apostle of faith and love. If Pastor Deboye poured his love on any member. Maybe there are more who can compete today, but I was his son back then. He loved me totally and lavishly alongside with his wife. I'm eternally grateful to them. And you will not know this. On my wedding day on, on November 24, 1984, Pastor Deboe arrived in Nigeria at about 6.30, 8 o'clock in the morning at the airport. He freshened up at the airport to drive straight to church where I was getting married because he stood in as my father and signed my wedding certificate as my father that day. Um, he, he would not be, if I would not see him in a week and he would not see me, it would be, my mom would come just to check on how we were doing. He was there for us. He named my first child. The name Olubame was given by him. And when I started practice on my own, there's a long story about how I started because he was involved also. 